Yo what's going on guys, welcome back to another video on the channel today. In today's video I'll be going through a step by step tutorial with you guys on how to extract models from Overwatch to use inside of Blender. Now if you guys have any problems with this at all, all you guys need to do is just join the Discord server in the description below where we can help you in uh, extracting and porting your skins into Blender. Also guys, make sure to go follow my Twitter in the description below because I post art ranging from Fortnite, Overwatch, Apex Legends and much more on my Twitter most of the time daily. So make sure to go drop a follow on there. But anyway guys, getting into the video, I'll be leaving a link in the description for the extracting tool that we're going to be using today um, to extract the models from Overwatch and it will bring you to this website. Um, so all you need to do is download the top one. It is called toolchainrelease.zip. That's the only one that we're going to need. So just click on that, download it. I don't need it guys. So um, I've already downloaded it, but make sure to download that, save it to wherever you need it and extract it to your desktop. Now, once it's extracted guys, it will look something like this. The folder will be called toolchain release and you'll have all this stuff in here. Now I know there's a data tool application here and that is the tool that we're gonna be using today, but that is actually not what we're using. What we're gonna be using is command prompt um, and I'll be getting into that um, in a little bit and it's not as hard as it sounds, um, but yeah, I'll get into it in a little bit. But basically, after you've got this folder guys, you need to go to your desktop or wherever you would like your Overwatch folders like models extracted to um in today's video i'm going to be using one of my hard drives because my desktop belly has any space i got a really tiny hard drive um but basically most of you guys you can probably just go to your desktop and make a new folder called the data tool just straight data tool no spaces or anything and just leave the folder blank just empty nothing in it and then after that's done come back to the tool chain release folder and type, click up the top so it selects everything and just type in CMD and press enter and then the command prompt will open. Also guys, I will be leaving a text line in the description below on what you guys need to put in to your um, command prompt to extract the models from Overwatch. So basically guys, um, here it is. Um, and there's two examples in here. So for the one up here, this is what you'll be using if you're on a uh, desktop. So as you can see, F Overwatch, that's where Overwatch is installed. So no matter what example, you guys will need to change that depending on where your Overwatch is installed on your PC. And then extract unlocks, C users, my name, desktop, data tool, McCree. Now this will be changed throughout the porting process. If you want to port McCree, sure you can do that but you can change that name to any skin in Overwatch that you want to port. And down here, this is an example if you're porting off a hard drive, um, but basically you can use either one, but just make sure it's the right directory to your data tool folder. Wherever your data tool is stored, that directory needs to be here. And then your Overwatch directory where Overwatch is actually installed needs to be here. Make sure you keep it in between the quote brackets and then you're good to go. Also today, um, maps will be included in the example, but I won't be showing you guys actually how to port them. It's the exact same as porting the skin. It just takes a lot longer to import into Blender due to the um, mass capacity of the model and um, the computer um, resources that it takes up to import it into Blender. But basically, all you're gonna to wanna to do guys is I'm gonna copy this one down here because this is my one. Don't copy skin just from data tool to the end of a Cree. That's all you wanna copy. That's just saying this is the skin, this is the map. So don't copy any of this. But now um, that we're heading back to data tool, um, it should just, this is what it should look like. Um, and then all you need to do is just press control V. There you go, it's in. Uh, make sure um, you can change it in CMD, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot easier just to change the directory and everything in just the notepad or it, I'm not going to be including a notepad, but just change it in a notepad or somewhere. It's a lot easier um, than CMD, but basically it says McCree here and I've already ported McCree before. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to type in Mercy. So for today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you how to port Mercy. Um, and basically all you want to do is press enter and then it will go through all these procedures. It will say loading packages and it will go through this 
and it will go up to 10,000 and once that's done it will go through and then it will find mercy and then it will go through each skin extracting skin for pink finding saving and then when it's saved it will say done and then when it's done it will move on to the next skin and it will keep going through every single skin until it's done and now i'm not 100 percent certain on this but i'm pretty sure where it says mercy up the top in the little line of text i'm pretty sure you can just put a skin name for a certain skin and it will just export that one um but what i'm doing is i'm just typing in the character's name and it will port every or it will export every single skin um for that character but basically i'm just gonna let this um export and once that's done um i'll get back to you guys Alright guys, now as you can see, it says at the end, if it's all done correctly, execution finished in 00749, so 7 minutes and 49 seconds. Um, it might be quick for you guys, depending on what type of computer you have. And then from there, you can port more skins, but now we're going to go into Blender. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and start a new general document. And now basically all we need to do is also i will be leaving the add-ons for the overwatch model uh extension the ow model ow map ow map all that stuff um that you're going to need pretty much if not many people are going to be using maps you can use screenshots from games maps literally kill your computer but all you really need to worry about is the overwatch model which we're going to be doing today so we need to go to where your data tool folder is stored because that is where um, the hero will be saved. So this is my data tool folder on my D drive and there it is, Mercy. So we're just gonna go there, I'm gonna go skin and today we're going to be porting the um, Valkyrie. I'm pretty sure that's her name. Um, um, Epic Legendary. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's Seagram, the one with the gold hair. So then you want to go models, and all you need to do is look through here. Um, so you just want to navigate through. Um, so for example, if I go back, um, Halloween Terror, Legendary, there's the witch. So you kind of just need to go, so it'll have like all the events. Um, legendary, and then the skin name will be there. And you want to go models, and then there'll be the folders here. And basically, the, most of them will just have three. But what you want to do is go through each folder, um, some of the newer skins tend to have a lot more folders, but some of the oldest, like most of the older skins have not that many. So you just want to keep track on where you are and keep going down until you find one with a few more files inside of it. You'll see what I mean once I, here we go. So you'll see I have textures and a lot more. So you just want to double click on that and you kind of just have to import just these ones that have a lot until you kind of find the one that you're looking for. So this is her weapon. Um, so we'll just drag that to the side just in case you're using her weapon um, for a piece that you're doing or whatever you're doing the model for. So you just need to find where that is again and you just want to keep going from there. Here's another one that is just her healing pistol and we'll just drag that to the side just so we can see what the all look like when it's all imported and then we'll go back we'll find where that is again and we'll keep going. Oh here's another one straight after. Now what will happen is, here is the skin straight away, but right underneath the skin, there will be one that will have no body or anything, it will just be the arms. So that's, they've got a model for like the highlight intros, the lobby, all that jazz. And then once you're in game, actually what happens is there's no, there's no body model or anything. For the other players, yes there is, but on your computer, it's running a different model that only has arms and whatever the camera will be seeing. Now what we can do is we can turn on textured view and this is the fantastic thing about overwatch models. It comes pre textured. Now in my opinion that is pretty pretty uh, legendary. Um, so all you kind of need to do is just go through with each skin and you'll see how she's got kind of a, a fur thing down here. What you want to do for this is you want to come over here. Make sure you're in Eevee or else you won't be able to see this. You can switch back to cycles, but you need to be in Eevee to be able to fix this. And you want to click on this 
uh, materials tab down here on the right and there'll be blend mode and shadow mode. You just wanna click on blend mode and alpha clip is more like rough edged as you'll see. If I do that, it's very just, just clean cut. But if you do alpha hashed, it kinda blends out. So it looks more kinda like fur, if that makes sense. So it's a, just a little bit more realistic. And then pretty much the final thing that you will see is if you want to also with these, they're big spheres. What you want to do is if you want to kind of be able to navigate around a lot more, uh, you just want to go into this like running man. Once you've selected the bones and go viewport display and it will say stick already, but it will say shapes. What you just want to do is select shapes. And there you go. It's kind of turned into sticks like Fortnite models and it'll be a lot more easier to navigate around. But the final thing you want to do is there are these black lines and these mirrored um, spheres here. So you want to be in EV still and go back to the blend mode and click alpha clip for these ones. Not alpha hash, alpha clip. And then you want to go down for the sphere and you want to do alpha clip for that. And it, just because you don't want to delete them because that is actually the glossiness effect, which will kind of add more of a realistic look to the eye. Um, so, um, yeah, but basically this is what the skin looks like. It is fully ported and you can use this exact same method for, um, porting a map. It will just take a while to load in. Um, just take that into consideration and pretty much from there, you can have fun in Blender, do whatever you need, um, and just create some amazing art with this. Um, but anyway guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the tutorial But remember guys if you do have any questions make sure to join the discord server in the description below to ask any questions um, And get some help on your problems with porting overwatch things or just Fortnite things or just anything Blender in general um, Also guys make sure to go follow me on Twitter where I'll be posting art from Fortnite to Apex Legends overwatch even sometimes some other things um, like other games uh, every now and then but i tend to post daily so make sure to go over there and follow me if you guys are interested in 3d art um but anyway guys that's going to be it for the video um but i'll catch you guys in the next video peace